Hip fracture is more common in elderly patients with due to trivial fall with uh, high rate of morbidity and mortality with uh, increased rate of this fracture due to increased life ex expectancy and uh, increased incidence of osteoporosis. The stable fractures are usually treated with osteosynthesis and with predictable results, but in unstable fractures it is challenging because of difficulty in obtaining anatomical reduction and uh, the aim of fracture treatment is anatomical reduction and early mobilization. Purpose of study was the, is to evaluate functional and uh, clinical outcomes of cemented bipolar hemiarthroplasty and uh, dynamic hip screw as a primary treatment for unstable intertrochanteric fractures in elderly patients. Materials and methods. Study conducted in uh, Basveshwar Teaching and General Hospital of MR Medical College in Gulbarga between 2017 to 2018. Total 30 community trochanter fr uh, fracture cases are included with uh, 15 in each group satisfying inclusion criteria. Follow up done at interval of 6 weeks and 3 months, 6 months and 1 year. Examined both clinically and radiologically. Functional assessment was done based on modified Harris HIP score. Results were mean age of patient treated with DHS was uh, 69 years, 69.55 years and mean age of patient treated with bipolar was 74 years and uh, male is to female ratio is 2 is to 1. Operative time taken for DHS was 76 minutes and in bipolar it was 1 or 4 minutes uh, with p-value of less than 0 0.002. Mean blood loss in bi bipolar group and uh, DHS group were respectively 283.93 ml and 246 ml with p-value 0 0.113. There is no significant difference observed between these groups. In our study, less than 2 cm shortening seen in 60% uh, of DHS group and 46.6% in bi bipolar group and more than 2 cm shortening seen in 20% cases in DHS group and none in bipolar group. Average partial weight bearing in bipolar group was uh, 9.8 days and in 39.33 days in case of DHS and partial weight bearing started with Walker, bipolar group showing better results compared to DHS group. Full weight bearing is uh, in bipolar was 19.8 days uh, with support in 70.93 70 days in DHS group with all support. Bipolar group having better results compared to DHS group. At the end of six months, in more than in bipolar group, more than 90% had fair to excellent results with uh, one case of poor result. In DHS group, 50% uh, had fair to excellent result and 46% had poor result. At uh, one year follow-up, bipolar group showed 93% of, uh, of fair to excellent result. In DHS group, 67 to 67% has fair to excellent result and 33% showed poor results. These are the pre-operative and post-operative access, one at uh, uh, six months and one at one year. Uh, this is the uh, full weight bearing and hip flexion and abduction adduction at one year follow-up. This is the, in case of DHS group, pre-operative and po post-operative access at uh, six months and one year. This is the uh, flexion and uh, internal rotation and uh, abduction in DHS group at one year follow-up. Chest infection and bed source infection seen more in DHS cases and uh, urinary tract infection and respiratory disease seen in bipolar group. But 13.3% uh, 13, 13 bipolar group had post-operative general complications as compared to uh, DHS group in which uh, there is 33.3% of complications which is statistically insignificant. Uh, in DHS case, uh, implant-related implant complications like uh, screw cutout seen in three cases, uh, Richard screw backout seen in one case, and plate breakage seen in one patient and one non-union at the end of eight months with deep infection. All cases treated with uh, revision surgery and bone grafting, one case converted to cemented bipolar. In case of bipolar cases, uh, bipolar stem was in valgus uh, position in two cases. One dislocation seen immediately, immediate post-op, which is uh, reduced, clo is closed under general anesthesia and immobilized the limb for four weeks. Then patient started walking with full, with support. In this study, 20% of patients in bipolar group had implant-related complications, whereas 40% in DHS group, uh, which is statistically insignificant. Conclusion. 
Patient treated with DHS started full weight bearing as compared to hemiarthroplasty. Hence, functional recovery and early ambulation was delayed in group of internal fixation. Early post-operative high risk score was good in bipolar hemiplacement uh, as compared to internal fixation group, but the end of one year scores increased in internal fixation group and remained same in bipolar group. Post-operative complications were more with uh, DHS group as compared to bipolar group. Implant related complications were less in bipolar group as compared to DHS group. Bipolar gives better uh, mechanical stability and uh, blood loss operative time were more in uh, bipolar group as compared to DHS group. Summary, the cornerstone of management of community intertrochanteric fractures is early surgery followed by mobilization. Early mobilization is very essential, particularly in patients with other medical comorbidities and also to prevent post-operative complications. Primary hemiarthroplasty offers modality of treatment that provides early mobilization in those patients. Arthroplasty is better option in elderly patients with unstable intertrochanteric fractures. Thank you.